Morning, y'all. Rig Fearless Fairless, Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punch Wally Garage and Fearless Services. Good morning. Doing okay? It is Wednesday, December 27th, 2023, year of our Lord. So Christmas is two days gone. And New Year's is coming up fast. In my life, the 365 Project, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine goes back to 1977. Let's say New Year's Eve 1976. So I was working for Roach Paint Company and I was uh, 20 years old. I just turned 20 years old. There was a guy that we worked with that was a nice guy, big guy, kind of a knucklehead, but he was always bragging about him and women. And I was 20, he was probably 30. And so I knew that he was kind of a, oh, kind of a hillbilly kind of guy. He invited uh, some of us to his New Year's Eve party. And I had no plans to go, but one of the other co-workers said, let's go, man. Let's see if he's full of baloney or not. Let's see if he's, you know as much of a ladies man as he claims to be. I said, okay, you want to go, I'll go with you. So we went to the party. He lived out on a little piece of land somewhere south of Dallas. We got there, it was already dark. For refreshments to drink, they had homemade beer, he made his own beer, so they had homemade beer and moonshine. And I mean moonshine, you drink in the bottle and you hoist it up on your shoulder and all that. They thought that was so funny. And I guess he was a ladies man because there was a bunch of women there. Uh, I would not say they were attractive women, they were just women. As the party went on, me and the guy that was with me are like, this guy's full of baloney. He's crazy. Look at all these ugly women running around here. And he was having the time of his life, living it up. And he kept saying, wait till midnight, wait till midnight, wait till midnight. We're going to shoot off a bunch of fireworks. Some of his buddies were shooting a shotgun out there in the in the behind the house. I had all I could take when the shotgun started coming out. So you got a bunch of hillbillies running around naked, drunk, shooting shotguns. And he said at midnight that's when the party's really gonna commence. So I tried to sneak out to my car. I got my buddy, the other co-worker, and I said, I'm leaving. I don't care if you want to go or not. I'm out of here. And it's probably around 11, which is way past my bedtime anyway. He said, I'm going with you. So we snuck off to my truck. When I fired it up, they all looked over there and they saw me. And they start running after me. Don't leave yet. You got to be here at midnight. I got out of there as fast as I could, boy. That was a mess. All right, let's check the chuck. Hold on, I got to get you off the, the easel or the tripod, whatever this thing is called. Check that chuck, you big old. Woo! Hey, look at these. Now, I haven't not worn these before. These are some wool rich. And look at the colors, almost like a Mexican blanket. So you've got some red and gray and black mixed in there. 
solid black logo, black toe, black sole, two vent holes, black shoe strings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. I'm digging these chucks. These are, say it with me now, these are some handsome chucks. Okay, let me put you back on this easel, or uh, tripod. Got a little there, get that in there, see? Okay. Dad joke, what do you get when you cross a hillbilly with moonshine? No good. You get no good. Like at that party, nothing good can happen. They're saying the party's really going to start at midnight. I was not going to wait to find out. I'm out. Slain. And there was a bunch of these there. Clodhoppers. You remember that? What are you doing there with that clodhopper? Clodhopper was uh, basically somebody was walking around on dirt clods. There was a bunch of dirt clods out there. Clodhopper. We also used to call some shoes clodhoppers. We were you wearing them clodhoppers? Remember if your pants were too short, they said you, they'd say, You expecting rain today, Rick? You got your rain, your rain pants on. Meaning that they didn't come down very far. Remember that? Get off the couch, a motivational minute. Well, first I, I forgot to tell you. And I highlighted it, and I still forgot to tell you. In this episode, I'm going to tie in Ava Gardner, Unwanted Nudity, Claude Hopper, and Mickey Rooney. I'm going to tie all that together in this uh, next nine minutes. Some of it I've already tied together. Get off the couch, motivational minute. Don't change so people will like you. Be yourself, and the people that are supposed to like you will like you. What does that mean, Mr. Fairless? That's pretty deep there. Let's see. That means don't try to impress people. Just be yourself. You know, try to be a pleasant person. You don't want to go around being a menacing uh, clodhopper. That's just a funny name, clodhopper. Where are you going, clodhopper? Hey, clodhopper. Hey, here's a challenge. I challenge all of you listening, sometime today, use the word clodhopper in a sentence, but make no reference to anything. Just throw it out there and do it without laughing. Say one of your co-workers come in, hey, where'd you get them clodhoppers? Or, uh, you know, just working into a sentence, just normal part of the day, and then let me know when you do it and how you did it. Be yourself. The people that are supposed to love you will love you. Stroker's Dallas Merch, M-E-R-C-H dot com. Today is Wednesday, so we will have karaoke. Karaoke parties are pretty fun. The DJ plays all kinds of music, and he encourages people to get up and sing, and some people don't need much encouraging. The new year is getting closer, and uh, it's been a good one, 2023, but I'm ready for it to vamoose, and I'm ready for 2024. Okay, I'm going to leave you with this. Mickey Rooney and, see I tied him in there. Mickey Rooney and Frank Sinatra shared a wife, not at the same time. But you know, they're, they're kind of two completely different people, but they both were married to a woman by the name of Ava Gardner, who was uh, uh, one of the queens of the silver screen. You remember Ava Gardner? Beautiful woman. She's married to Mickey Rooney. And then uh, Frank Sinatra. And that, boys and girls, is the rest of the story. Okay, I'm going to get my clodhoppers on. i got to go to work. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.